it's controlling 99% of, of, of our waking and, 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 well, not even our waking life, all of our life. I mean, it definitely needs to be something that should be at the forefront. And I love that you said prayer and, and, and meditation is a component of, of the mind. So would you say that, you know, coming at it from maybe a spiritual side of what, like side of things, like is the mind, is your, is your work, is this a scientific study of perhaps the soul or, or, or the spirit or, or are they still kind of like separate is? as well because i mean when i hear you talk about it that it's this force that's inside of us and outside of us that we can feel it and we can you know not see it there's nothing that we can really see from the mind so how does that tie into you know call it the spirit of of the human does that question make sense yeah oh absolutely and and it's totally accurate your question too so to understand that you your your spirit your mind is basically your spirit and your soul mm. so and if you go back to all the original translations of those words and everything you'll see that they actually might it's mine so spirit and soul end up being mind. If you go right back to the as, as uh, to the sort of Greek and ancient Greek and so on. So basically, mind is spirit and soul. So it's spirit, soul, body. So I'm talking about the realm of the spirit and the soul, Got which it. is one of the, which is 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 real. It's it's the invisible, but we're starting to get a little bit of an understanding of the of of the visibility through things like work in quantum physics and electromagnetics mm. and and gravitational field work and that kind of stuff. We're starting to see more of, of that. And, and gravitational fields are easy to understand because we, because of gravity, we're not floating. So we know that we've got all these gravitational fields around us and um, quantum physics, I mean, certain physicists have won Nobel Prizes on a couple of years back they, where they've developed instrumentation to actually start measuring and looking at the gravitational fields. And then that's all got to do with electromagnetics. It's all complex stuff, but we also see that not only are we in them, but we have our own. That are you, that's unique. You can't have mine, I can't have yours, which is really nice mm. to know. It's, it's, it's really goes to our uniqueness as humans. Um, and we have control over that. We have agency over that. And there's so much hope in understanding mind. If we eliminate mind, which is what we've done over these past 40, 40 years because I've watched I've been in the field for 38 years and I've watched as I started with my as an, a young scientist and practitioner and so on clinician I've watched the trajectory as we've learned more about the brain which has been a fantastic thing so we've and, and medicine and technology we've actually gone backwards with our understanding of mind so the more we've become physically neuroductionistically or neurobiologically dominant, mm. like focusing on what we can see, touch, hear, and feel, we kind of pushed what we don't really can't see as clearly out of the door. And so the science that dominates, it's not the largest part of science, it's not the oldest part of science, it's very modern science, but it's very dominant in our current age. And, and it influences education and medicine and philosophy, and, and it is very neuroreductionistic. So they'll, you'll hear people talking about the brain produces the mind or thoughts come from the brain. They can't because the brain can't do anything without the mind. If you take mm. the mind away, you're dead. That thing, the brain just does nothing. I can take a dead brain out of, out, of your he out of someone's head and hold it in my hand. We can stare at it all day. It will never do anything. So, you know, that's, we've got to shift our perspective back to the narrative of humans being, ha having these, being all encompassing spiritual and body, mm. mind and body.